Hey guys, it's me for Red Wall and welcome back to my playthrough of Salt 2 Shores of Gold. Let's continue. Alright, so what is the next thing on the list? This one, right? Pursuit of a Prince, Main Quest, Location, Silver Veil Sanctuary, Coordinates 1 East, 9 South. Joshua has given me a key to the Sacramental Chamber and has built everything I need to summon the Prince of Power. I need to place each artifact in a bowl in the chamber, summon the co leader, and then feed him. What? Oh, so I have to go back here. Oh. The War of Silver? The following pages are an excerpt from a book detailing the war between Eris and the Necromancer. Both Eris, Queen of Silvervale, and the Necromancer were headed for a great war. Eris had amassed a large number of followers devoted to her ideals that saw her as a de deity of sorts. On the other side, a darker force had arisen in secret, a force that worshipped the Necromancer and believed he, would, he could provide them with power and eventually immortality. When the war broke out, many lives were lost on both sides and the city of Silvervale was left in ruins. The war was said to have lasted only a few days, but the destruction is, if it left behind lasted for centuries. Towards the end of the battle, Eris and her forces overcame the, the Necromancer and he was defeated. However, the same day Eris defeated the Necromancer, she also disappeared. Some claimed they saw her gravely wounded and others claimed to see her speaking to a strange figure before her disappearance. Either way, she was never found and it remains a mystery today as to what happened to her. Alright. Door is it? Residential chambers key required. Unlock with sacramental chamber key. Oh, that means I have to be ready. Uh, should be stronger. Try this one. Bad enough that this guy has a lot of power, but now a skeleton? Dang. Oh, it's with the left hand. Ah, oh, it's because I've been playing Skyrim and it uses the a different button. Gold Prince's Battle Axe, Strong Health Potion. What do these guys got? Victorious Washbuckler's Cutlass. Greenwood Arrows. Baron of Marcus. Wait, where is everyone? The Prince of Power is defeated, I should return to Marcus and let him know. Oh, they're all over here. What are they doing? Well met. The pendant, it's it's glowing again. What does that mean? It can only mean one thing. Eris has returned. 
You mean the goddess the Silver Veil worships? The one and only? How is that possible? I don't know. Wait, I almost forgot. Were you able to summon and defeat the Prince of Power? I was. That is good news indeed. We need to sort out the location of the next call leader, but I can't do that right now with the news of Eris return. I must understand what this means. Go to Ebnor and tell him what has happened here. I need his counsel. Where is he? Last I saw him and Joshua were heading towards the res residential chambers in the back of the sanctuary. Oh yes, you have yet to receive our your key to the quarters. Here you are. Take the key and go to Ebnor and tell him I need him. Alright. Let's go over here. I need food. The return of Eris find Ebnor in the residential chambers. What? Ebnor's ring. Somebody's backstabbed him. Investigate the room for clues as to what happened. Inspect. You see Ebnor hunched over the desk with a dagger lodged in his spine. He appears to be dead. Examine the dagger. The dagger has a symbol etched into the hilt, barely visible. It appears to be of a snake coiling its way through the eyes of a skull. Return to Marcus and tell him about the dagger. What? Either this place was infiltrated by a cult member, or what somebody is gonna be is already betraying the air or this order. Well, Matt. I see you've returned. Where is Ebnor? It appears he's been murdered. Wait, what? Murdered? How? I found a dagger in his back with a skull and snake symbol on it. Oh my! This is I can't quite believe this. What is it? That dagger belonged to Joshua. I always wondered what that symbol meant and he would never tell me. He left in a hurry just a few hours ago. It appears I've been betrayed. We've been betrayed. Joshua is working with the Hand of Chaos? It appears so. Send me. I'll find him. I wish it were that simple. Unfortunately, I don't, don't know where Joshua is and we may never know. But that doesn't stop our mission. We must locate the Necromancer and put a stop to him before he can return with full power. So what's next? I need a minute to coordinate a new plan. In the meantime, go and introduce yourself to the newest member of the guild. His name is Yorick. He's a master with potions and a good healer. He's over near the sanctuary entrance, and I believe he has a gift for you. Once you've spoken to him, return to me, and we'll figure out what's next. Yeah, like, I was saying someone had to have been in the cold. Double agent? Or or betrayal? Hmm. Hello, good to see you. Name's Yorick. I'm a potion seller and healer by trade. Marcus told me all the good you've done for the guild, and so I wanted to give you a little gift as my way of saying thanks. Also, I run a shop here and sell my potions. So feel free to stop by any time and buy what you need. Pirate's Courage. Speak to Marcus. But was Joshua a recent new member, or were they already part of this order for a while? Oh. Well, Matt. All right, I think I have a plan. Okay, what's next? While you were speaking to Yorick, I had one of the guild members go through some of Joshua's belongings. I found reference to a place called the Cathedral of Blood and two leaders of the cult, the Blood Brothers. Sounds ominous. Before Ebner died, he was looking into more locations where the cult leaders might be. One place he found kept re referencing blood, and I couldn't make sense of it until now. Did Ebner know where it was? Yes, I had him draw up the location for me, but we didn't get around it to it before. Well, you know. At any rate, this task falls to you now. Look for the entrance of the Cathedral of Blood and defeat these so-called Blood Brothers. According to Joshua's writings, there's a good chance they will have information on the Necromancer. Alright, I'll go find it. 
Look for any call writings you can find in that cathedral and return to me. We have to stop the necromancer once and for all. Press updated. Let's see. Where is it? Stolen stones on oh, side quest. Where's the main quest? Where is it? Oh. Alright, so Cathedral of Blood, coordinates 13 East, 23 South. Marcus has discovered a place known as the Cathedral of Blood, and he believes there are two co leaders there, known as the Blood Brothers. Marcus thinks one of these brothers might have, informa have information on the whereabouts of the Necromancer. I shall use the map he gave me and find the Cathedral entrance. Go on back. Where is it? Which one is it? Two, five, or three? Where am I? Over here? I'm over here, right? Oh, where am I? I guess I'll find out. Skills, archery. Increase damage of headshots with the bow by one of four. Is this? Fact: The pendant on display was given to the Order by Arius in her days as leader of the Silver Veil. The stone in the center was said to have glowed with a bright violet light when she was near. The day Arius defeated the Necromancer, she also she also mysteriously disappeared. And it was that same day that the light in the pendant grew dim and went out. It has not since returned. Until now. Alright, let's go. south and I have to be at over here okay what did it say oh it was 13 east 23 south thirteen east twenty three south number two Let's go to sleep before I go. I have to go south and east, south east. Let me turn south. Let's go south. Foggy morning. Sun's barely coming up. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning, and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. Psalm 139 verses 7 to 10.
I see a ship. By the merchant ship. Five hours later. Looks like there's a shipwreck on this island. Another ship at sea. of blood blood brothers defeat the blood brothers and find information on the necromancy oh, yes that's the way right I just gotta go in the water Nothing over here. Just get slower. guys there. Uh. Uh. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. <laughs>
on. Uh, yes. Ah, blood amulet. Now I gotta find the information. Oh, writings. Chest. Return the call writings to Marcus at the Silver Veil Sanctuary. Alright, let's get out of here. Thank you, Jesus. I was able to eat two food items and fast travel here. I gotta talk to Marcus over here. Well met. So, was your mission a success? I defeated the Blood Brothers and found some cool writings. Good, let me see the writings you found. Hmm, well this is both good news and bad news. What is it? The good news is that the, is that the writings detail the location of the necromancer. The bad news is that I have no clue how to get there or even what it is. Does the place have a name? The cult seems to refer to it as the prison of the damned. According to the writings, it seems that the necromancer was in prison there somehow and they are trying to get him out. Their most recent writings indicate that they believe he is restored to full power, but that he is still imprisoned. Sounds like we need to find him before they do. I know, but how? I need time to think. In the meantime, I have another task for you. Wait, what do you need me to do? The pendant glowing again must mean that Ares has returned or is somehow nearby. There is a door in the back of the chamber that leads to the guild cellar. In there is another door we discovered when we built this place. It had the symbol of the pendant on it, but I could never find a way to open it. And now that it's glowing? Exactly, I think the door might not be unlocked. Might now be unlocked. I want you to go and investigate it and see what happens. And see what answers life beyond. Oh, this is my reading. Okay, I'll go. Here, take this key. We normally keep the cellar locked. And be careful. And I, I don't know what lies past that door. Quest complete, Blood Brothers. Quest started, Return of a Goddess. Okay guys, I'm gonna end it here. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Take care.